I'm honored to have a chance to address this really important question coming from the language of President Reagan's iconic speech, A Time for Choosing. He delivered that speech almost 60 years ago, and it resonates very strongly today. The creep of government advancing deeper and deeper into the lives and the affairs of its people. A time of choosing is also a time of reckoning, a time for reflection. There is undeniably inequality of opportunity for too many of our citizens. Poor kids, many of them minority kids, have experienced learning loss at a truly alarming rate. Public education is indeed important, but poor parents need the same choices that richer Americans enjoy. And from Florida to Utah to Indiana and Arizona, governors and legislatures are embracing choice. There can be no more college graduates with massive debt and no skills when a two-year degree and an apprenticeship would deliver a good job. Second, it is a time of reckoning about America's values and our institutions. We know that America was created with a birth defect. It was called slavery. When those chains were lifted, there would be another hundred years of second-class citizenship, Jim Crow and redlining, and exclusion from America's most important institutions. We must teach that history bluntly and truthfully. But the reckoning has to also recognize an undeniable reality. We have made so much progress. As Secretary of State, I travel the world, and no country deals better with difference and tries harder than the United States of America. Reagan's example is there for us in so many ways. He addressed America's challenges with a message of hope and optimism. They are values that are worth defending today as they were worth defending in the past. Affirming the power of markets and private enterprise, the source of creativity and growth. Knowing that government should not try to do for its citizens that which its citizens themselves can and should do. Recognizing that we are a country of immigrants and also of laws that must be respected. This time of choosing before us may seem like the most critical in the history of our country, but there have been many others. Declaring independence against the greatest military power of the time, believing that people could self-govern and somehow winning. Fighting a civil war, brother against brother, but building a more perfect union. Winning for the descendants of slaves, the basic rights of citizenship, Yes, in the streets of Selma and Birmingham, but also in the courts and in the Congress, defeating the communist behemoth. That is the spirit that you evoke today when you ask that we look again to this time of choosing. Thank you very much.